हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द लेसन प्लान आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट डन इट येट दैट मीन्स अ लॉट टू मी ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज लेसन प्लान इज ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज फ्रैक्शन एंड इट इज़ फॉर क्लास फोर ओके यू कैन ऑल्डर इट अकॉर्डिंगली एज पर द क्लास यू कैन रिड्यूज द stuff that is there you can reduce the subject matter or you can add also okay so let's get started so in the starting we'll write the details teachers name subject is mathematics then topic fractions then class is 4 date on which you are teaching period and then duration okay so it will it will take around 40 minutes to complete this chapter ओके सो फर्स्टली वील राइट जनरल ऑब्जेक्टिव ओके एंड जनरल ऑब्जेक्टिव वी राइट अकॉर्डिंग टू द सब्जेक्ट ओके इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द सब्जेक्ट ओके वट आर जनरल ऑब्जेक्टिव विल बी ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज टू इंक्रीज द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन मैथमेटिक्स सेकेंड टू इनेबल स्टूडेंट्स टू अप्लाई मैथमेटिकल नॉलेज प्रैक्टिकली इन देयर डे टू डे लाइफ थर्ड टू डू द मेंटल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन फोर्थ टू एनहैंस स्टूडेंट्स थिंकिंग स्किल्स ओके so these are the general objectives then come specific objectives okay these are related to the topic that we are going to teach okay so first one is to help students to understand the concept of fractions second to make students understand the different types of fractions third to help students solve problems based on fractions so in specific objectives basically we cover the things that we are going to teach okay the topics that we are going to teach okay so next comes teaching aids ओके वट डू वी नीड फॉर टीचिंग दिस चैप्टर सो वी नीड चॉक ब्लैक बोर्ड डस्टर अ शीट ऑफ पेपर पॉइंटर एट्सेट्रा ओके देन प्रीवियस नॉलेज इज यूम्ड ओके वट प्रीवियस नॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स हैव रिलेटेड टू दिस चैप्टर ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स हैव प्रीवियस नॉलेज अबाउट नंबर्स ओके दे ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट नंबर्स और द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर्स सो नाउ वी नो दैट दे नो अबाउट नंबर्स but it is important as a teacher to test their previous knowledge okay so next comes previous knowledge testing here we make two columns one is teachers activity on the left hand side and on the right hand side we write students activity okay so now the teacher will take a sheet of paper and will tear it into two halves okay from the center and she last few questions first question is the paper is torn into how many parts the students will say two parts next question is what part this one piece of paper is of the full sheet of paper okay then they'll say half then third question the teacher will ask how do we write half in number okay so they already know that half is written as 1 by 2 now we will ask what kind of the number is this okay now that's a problematic question because they don't know the answer to this okay now we will announce our topic and we will say students today we are going to study about fractions and its types in detail okay next comes our presentation part means the main part of teaching okay when we are actually teaching so for this we we'll divide our page into four columns okay for making a lesson plan on, on this we divide our page into four columns first is teaching points second teachers activities third students activities and fourth is blackboard work okay in blackboard work you can also paste a black paper and write it with a write the content with a white pen okay i have not done it because i am doing it for you not for the actual project purpose but you can do it it looks appealing okay so first teaching point is definition of fraction that means we are going to define what are fractions okay so fraction is defined as the part of a whole the whole can be an object or a group of objects the fraction is also termed as a portion or section of any quantity it is denoted by using the symbol such as a upon b okay so students will listen carefully and we will write the main points on the board like fractions it means the part of a whole or we can also say portion or section of any quantity okay now next teaching point is parts of fractions 
now we will say fractions have two parts okay first is numerator second is denominator we will write the same thing on the board then we will explain them first is numerator numerator it is the upper part of the fraction that represent sections of the fraction okay then second is denominator it is the bottom or lower part of the fraction that represents the total parts in which the fraction is divided okay now students will note down in their notebooks and we will write we will give an example and write on the board okay for example in 3 by 4 3 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator okay we will write the same thing on the board 3 upon 4 and we will label it 3 is numerator and 4 is denominator okay after this next teaching point is question we'll put up a question okay a comprehension question you can say we'll ask them we'll say what is the fraction representing the shaded region so we will draw this image uh, that is there in the blackboard work okay we'll draw this picture of a circle and we will divide it into three parts and shade one region and we will ask them what is the fraction representing the shaded region okay so it is one by three okay we'll show them how do how we do it okay as students will say then next teaching point is types of fractions now we will explain them that there are different types of fractions okay first is proper fractions so what are proper fractions when numerator is less than the denominator okay it is a proper fraction for example 8 by 9 1 by 3 4 by 7 okay and students will listen carefully okay we'll write the same thing on the board different types of fractions are proper fraction when numerator is less than the denominator okay we'll write the examples then comes improper fractions where numerator is greater than the denominator okay it is just the opposite of proper fractions for example 9 by 8 6 by 4 3 by 2 5 by 4 okay we will write it we will write the same thing on the board then comes mixed fractions okay now what are mixed fractions mixed fractions are combination of the integer part and a proper fraction okay so 3 3 by 8 so 3 is an integer and 3 by 8 is a proper fraction so when we add them it becomes a mixed fraction okay like 4 7 by 9 so students will copy in their notebooks we'll write the same thing on the board integer or whole number plus pro proper fraction okay and we will give examples so we will continuously teach them tell them and simultaneously we'll write on the board also okay next comes like fractions so like fractions are fractions that are alike or same on simplification okay as the name suggests they are like okay on simplification but for example 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 okay when we simplify 2 by 4 it comes out to be 1 by 2 only so both are same so that is why they are like fractions okay we'll write same thing on the board like fractions fractions that are alike or same on simplification for example 1 by 2 and 2 by 4 okay then comes unlike fractions unlike fractions are fractions that are dissimilar okay just the opposite of like fractions for example 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 are unlike fractions okay because if even if they are simplified these these fractions cannot be simplified but there are few pairs which when simplified they are not like okay they are dissimilar so those are unlike fractions so students will listen carefully and we'll write it on the board unlike fractions fractions that are not similar okay for example 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 next comes equivalent fractions okay now two, two fractions are equivalent to each other if after simplification either of the two fractions is equal to the other one okay for example 2 by 3 and 4 by 6 are equivalent fractions how if 2 by 3 is multiplied by 2 both at the numerator also at the, and at the denominator also okay then what comes 4 by 6 comes okay so 
so students will note down in their notebooks and they'll write it on the board equivalent fractions if either of the two fractions is equal to the other one after simplification then those fractions are equivalent fractions for example 2 by 3 and 4 by 6 and we will show them how to solve okay next comes unit fractions so this is the last type of fraction unit fractions when numerator is equal to 1 okay as the name suggests unit we related to 1 okay so 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 1 by 7 whatever it is when the numerator is 1 then it is a unit fraction okay students will listen carefully okay and we will write it on the board also now this was a teaching part okay now comes our recapitulation part that means where teacher asks question after teaching the concept uh, to make herself also understand and uh, to get the knowledge whether the students have understood the concept well or not okay so recapitulation she'll ask some questions like first one uh, what do you understand by the term fractions second how many types of fractions are there third which type of fraction is 3 4 by 8 four what are unit fractions fifth what are the two parts of fraction okay so they'll answer the, these questions and then we'll give them some homework okay last part is homework and it is very important to give them homework okay so that they can practice at home also so first question is write the fraction for the shaded part so you can make these images or even more okay and uh, shade some parts of it and then they will write the fraction for the shaded part second question is write the type of fractions okay what type of fractions are these okay they have to identify so first one is 4 by 8 and 2 by 4 second is 1 by 6 third 7 8 by 9 fourth 2 by 3 fifth 7 by 5 okay so that was the that is the homework that we are going to give them okay and that was it that was my lesson plan and uh, i hope you all liked the video please write in the comment section how did you find my video and if you want me to make video on any other topic then you can also mention that uh, in the comment box i would appreciate it okay and don't forget to uh, press the bell icon and like share and subscribe to my videos please please thank you for watching